None of us made it this hard to plan a birthday <laughs> video. Today is way more stressful than tomorrow is gonna be. Okay, so we have to find a private room because Mike is on to us. So context, we have a barber that comes to BuzzFeed sometimes to just give haircuts to people, you know, who have the free moment at work. Mike told me the only reason why he came in today and didn't work from home is because he was gonna get a haircut. <laughs> so Mike is super efficient and he already booked an appointment with Nick the barber. Mm -hmm. And so we had to figure out ways to distract him today, which was kind of a headache. <laughs> Mike is determined to get a haircut today. <laughs> he is determined. Our, our friend Becky from Legal said, Mike, I have to meet with you during this time. I'm so sorry, I can't be moved. He told me I have a meeting with Becky. Oh, I just don't, so many things keep coming up. And I was like, I wonder why. And then he was just like, I really want to switch with this person from accounting. And I was like, does he know that he can't switch? And apparently everyone who's getting a haircut today knows not to switch with Mike. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I don't understand. Like, why will no one switch with me so I can get a haircut? I was literally sitting there, I was laughing so hard. And I was like, I have to leave. Um, so Mike went to Nick the barber's chair um, and Nick didn't have anybody there, so. <laughs> Nick just told Mike that he just couldn't do it. <laughs> I feel bad now too, honestly. It's like I ruined his day, right? But then I just keep ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> We've had to pivot and navigate and talk to so many different people. Mike has now um, made an appointment externally for a fork. <laughs> I <laughs> don't. None of us made it this hard to plan a birthday. We have one hour. We have an we hour. Have, we have 58 minutes. We have to call them. We have to call his barbershop and tell them what's going on. Oh my god, we did. And see if they can cancel his appointment. Sorry, Mike, you'll get one tomorrow. Oh my god, so funny. He's so frustrated. So while Chantel and I are on the set of Beyonce's pregnancy shoot, mm -hmm. um, Kristen is breaking into Mike's house. We're gonna do a thirst trappy photo shoot and we want Mike Rose to be wearing a suit. All right, it's 9.45. I'm on a stakeout in front of Mike's house. I am waiting for him to leave so that I can go into his closet and sneak his suits and shirts out. I think I just saw Mike leave, but I, I went, I'm shrugging down so he doesn't see me. That would be a terrible spy. Okay, here we go. And we're creeping down the street. Please, please let him have left. Turning the corner. Oh, oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm walking in. I don't hear anyone. I think the house is empty. I am in Mike's room and he is not here. Now I just gotta find the suit. Oh God, how do I figure out which shoes are Mike's shoes? Cause there's two boys who live here. Mission accomplished. I'm sneaky. So the final touch to us surprising Mike are roses. So we're all gonna be carrying a little baby rose to surprise him. I'm sorry to interrupt this meeting. Hi, Mike Rose. Hi. It so, is your birthday video. This is your birthday video. It's happening right now. Roses for Mike Rose. Let's go. It's time to Come follow on. us. Time to follow us. Did you have any idea that today was your big day? Um. Mostly not. I didn't know it would be today. I wondered if something was coming up because Kristen was laughing at some sort of text yesterday and I was like, what, what's, what are you laughing about? And she was like, nothing. And then I was making fun of her for something. She was like, you'll feel bad about making fun of me. <laughs> so we're off to our first activity. Mike Rose, how are you feeling? I am overwhelmed. <laughs> Not used to being on this side of things. Ha <laughs> You got me. <laughs> it will all be worth it. It will all make sense. I mean, I have no doubt it'll be worth it. I'm just perplexed. 
confused and excited and a little scared. What do we have here? <laughs> um, you remember how you were trying so hard to get a haircut yesterday? Yes. Uh -huh. It wasn't the universe telling you no, it was five women working together to block you <laughs> from getting your haircut. My yes. We spent all, all day. day. I'm shook. My name is Nick Romero. I'm the BuzzFeed barber. I have a barber shop in San Diego, California. I've been cutting hair for 19 years. I've had a business for eight. I come to LA every two weeks to come cut hair at BuzzFeed and have fun in LA, and it's a great time. Okay, so Mike Rose is all done with his haircut. Fresh. Thank God. <laughs> Big relief for everyone, apparently. And now, since it's Hollywood, traffic is wild, so we're going on a little five minute walk to our next activity. It's an absolutely beautiful day out. Yes. I assume because it's 12.45 that it's a food-related activity. It's the Supreme. <laughs> uh, is it Chipotle, Chantel? Yes, cut and seen. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike, we know that you love sushi. One yes. of your favorite yes. I've never been here before. Really? No. How exciting. No, I've always wanted to go. Yeah. I was always like, oh, it's like too fancy for me. But not today. Not today. I love sushi so much. Life is a rich tapestry of new adventures. <laughs> Wait, who's this? Who's this? Who's is this the thing for the table? Who ordered this? What did you uh, order? It turns out I ordered it. So we are done with our lunch and we we're coming back to BuzzFeed and so we have like a little bit of time to chill. Um, we probably have like like 20 minutes-ish to chill and before our next activity begins. Uh, what, what do you think it's gonna be, Mike? I have no idea. The thing about this next activity is that it requires a different wardrobe. Oh. So we have someone in here. Oh my god. This is very Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whoa. <laughs> Your different wardrobe. I staked outside your apartment and waited for you to leave, and then I went in and grabbed your suit. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> your clothes and shoes, so you'd have options mm -hmm. for your next activity. That's why I texted this morning asking people were coming to the office. I, <laughs> I, I was waiting for this moment. Your face. <laughs> Get dressed okay. in your fanciest formal wear that you feel the most comfortable in, mm -hmm. and then you meet us at the desks. At the desks. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have 20 minutes. All right, okay. handsome. Okay. Wow. It's okay. Okay. So, Why am I all gussied up here? Why are you all gussied up? Well, it's because you're going to go do a wonderful thirst trappy photo <gasps> shoot now. What? We wanted you to look your best. Oh my gosh. That's why I broke into your house. Yeah, that was quite the operation. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> So, so over I'm following here, you. We have lovely John from our photo team. Oh my team. god. He's gonna take your picture. John! You ready for this thirst trap? I guess as ready as all. I mean, I'm more ready than I was half an hour ago. Yeah. John, it's all up to you. We'll follow you. Rose, we have finished his lovely thirst trap photo shoot. I'm back into civilian clothes. He's back in his civilian clothes, and now we're going on to our next activity. He still has no idea what it is. No idea. But we do. Oh, oh but we do. do. He's going to take his driver's test again. He's going to peel onions. No! He's gonna fish forks out of garbage disposal. <laughs> Girls, come on over. Okay. Come on in. Okay, so we're outside of our Lady Life stage, stage seven. Your next activity awaits you in there. What's in stage seven? <gasps> oh my god, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Hi! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back again for another birthday video. My name's Iman and I'm from Soothe. So today I'm here to give Mike a luxurious birthday massage from Soothe. We are a mobile massage company that comes to your home and give you the five star treatment. Happy birthday, Mike! <laughs> Enjoy, we'll see okay. you in an hour. I think, wow, this is wonderful. Okay. So Mike Rose is in his massage and Jen just got word that the puppies are here. They're here. So we're gonna go collect them 
and get them all settled in. That was literally one of the best massages I've had in years. Oh, from <laughs> Sydney? It's a luxurious gift set. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh, god. Thank you. You're the very best. best. Come on. I'm scared what's happening. Go on in. Oh, puppies! Oh my god! <laughs> Look, they're so happy to see you. It's a puppy tea party. It's a puppy tea party. Puppy tea party. <laughs> puppy tea party. Is, is that a little husky puppy? Yes, they all are. Their oh brothers and sisters are husky. No. Oh, okay. So these beautiful guys are from Pacific Pups Rescue. <gasps> oh, oh, put it, oh. They're my new best friends. <laughs> I want to live with them. You're perfect. So I have to unfortunately go off to prepare for the next activity. Uncle Mike. Oh my gosh. There yes. you go. Hmm? Mike, do you want a bite of a scone? Yes. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tea party. Mm. Puppy tea party. Oh, this is delicious. Ooh. This is beyond my wildest dreams. Oh, my baby. They smell so good. They really mm. do. Look. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. I love it. So apparently I have to move on to my next activity. Your last one. Which breaks my heart because I never want to leave these guys. Hi. Thank you so much to Pacific Pups Rescue for bringing these little angels into my life and for making sure fur babies everywhere get forever homes. This just made my life. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Okay, okay we now go to your last birthday surprise. Are, Are there ready? also puppies there? <laughs> keep walking, keep walking, mm -hmm. keep walking. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. Oh my god. Friday announcements, Mike Rose. You not only do so much for Ladylike, you do so much for BuzzFeed in general, so we thought we got the whole team involved to show you how much we care for you. So we have a couple toasts for you, Mike Rose, because we love you so much, but first I'm gonna get you a glass of champagne and I'm gonna pass the mic to Kristen. Okay. Oh, first? Yeah, babe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wow, there's so many people. <laughs> so I met Mike in the fall of 2014. And one of the great things about Mike is that he is someone who really cares about people and making good work. And I can say that so much of the work that I've done would not even be possible if it weren't for his tireless dedication and friendship and talent. Mike is good at everything. Uh, and he is so indispensable for that reason. And literally he is the best best of us and better than that at all. And really anyone would be lucky to have him on our team. And I'm lucky to have him on my team at all times. Uh, what I want for Mike, so I don't start crying. <laughs> I know. What I want for Mike this coming year is I want for Mike to actually make the things that he wants of his dreams. Yay! Cheers, we love you Mike. So Mike and I both started as interns, two weeks apart. Somehow, kind of unbeknownst to me, Mike decided on his first day that we were going to be friends. Oh. And that was probably the best accident that has ever happened to me. You are so amazing. Um, I feel like we've gone through a lot of crazy stuff here together. We didn't know what we were doing, but somehow it came out uh, perfect. And here's to you and, and to another amazing year and to all the cool things that I know you're going to do. And you make everybody here so happy. And we're just so lucky to have you. So. Yes. Cheers. Cheers, Mike. <laughs> Uh, Mike Rose is literally a godsend to BuzzFeed. He's the friendliest and most helpful person I've ever met. You're charismatic, and your positivity is like a magnet. You bring people joy just by being you. Uh, you're so talented with your work, and not sure if I ever said this to you before, but you are a big inspiration to me, and I'm sure for many others. And I look up to you as a role model, and I hope that we can work together again soon. Keep shining like a big, beautiful diamond that you are. Yay, <laughs> yeah, Fred, get up Fred. here, girl. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry I couldn't be here for your special day, but you mean so much to us. You are so helpful, you are so kind. You really are just like a light and a petty queen, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I had no idea anything was happening today. Like I, I didn't know how much I needed this until it happened. Like today is honestly the most unadulterated joy that I felt in months. This is a true reminder of like why I wake up every day and come here and how lucky I am to have the friends that I have here. 
because you guys truly changed my life for the better. Um, and I'm gonna stop now before I cry. Yay! <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming on this Friday. Please enjoy some more alcohol. We love you, Mike.